That one I not even know at all. Here's my, here's my thought. I think deer are the terrorists of the animal kingdom. They do that. They just plunge into your car for no reason. Right? Like, I'm going to spend it. The Americans have been a look at it. And they to They killed your mother. But I want you to do it. When the dog neon comes up here, I want you to plunge into a box. This is just our dream now, but look, keep around, but you do not know what is happening. Excuse my thoughts. I have to have the accent, right? It doesn't make any sense otherwise. Crazy stuff happening, man. Yeah, I, I'm actually born, I was born and raised here in Twin Falls. It's the homecoming. Uh, I grew up on the south side of town, though. Right across the track from Kimberly Road. On, yeah, no, 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 no. On Buena Vista. Third trailer down. See, when you have, when you have a Spanish street, you know you're in the ghetto. Right? 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 It's true. All my friends were Hispanic. I had a little friend, you know, who wore the plaid shirt. Slick hair, smell of brute cologne. My father said I have to protect you. Here's this switch. On a stick! You know, the only kid in kindergarten with a switch man, I know how to work. I know the white kid around, I need to protect me. My dad, you know, sit on the porch with tiny lining blind slippers and a nine iron. Nine iron? Yeah. Just... <laughs> 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 My childhood was kind of interesting. Uh, when I was in uh, second grade, I weighed somewhere around the ballpark of 125 pounds. You need a visual for that? If you smile and can't see anymore, and you're not Asian, you're a big kid. You know when your dad refers to you getting in the hot tub of the Chucky Duck, thanks, Dad, so stupid. My dad taught me how to swim. He's all about the tough one. He threw me in the deep end. Yeah. What the dad know? Fast floats. <laughs> it was like. I couldn't control it, so I could just put the high dive. That's all these little skinny kids with their floaty arms would jump in, and try and pop the fat kids, and their floaties would fall off, and his knee has a life. Did you know there's weight limits on water slides? Yeah, not the big ones with the two, but like the ones that go like straight down. Yeah, I'd go up there and be like, you serious? I'm like, what? I went up. I had burns. I'm like, sketch back! That's not a sketch back. Tommy Air. Suzanne, I had to name them because my legendary friends were basically ignoring me, so I talked to them. Just You know? That's it. All my legendary friends were like, hey! My mom, she was always trying to help me though. She got me those pump shoes with the with the basketball on the tongue, you guys remember those? Yeah, I'm just like Yeah, I 
Found out fifth grade picture day. They have a lazy eye. Thank you, Lord. Fifth grade picture. That one didn't go on grandma's refrigerator that year. No, not me. I'm looking at the deck with this one. This one's looking up at the sky. Yeah. Well, there. Can you kick on the back? She's like, oh my god. Yeah, I have a lady eye. Yeah, they did a workout in high school. I was going to go with my girlfriend in the eye and go behind her at the same time. <laughs> Worked out okay. Worked out okay. It doesn't help when you ride a scooter to get your helmet off the wall. You look to the left. Hand over on a penny, Dad. <laughs> I was always trying to give uh, motivational speeches to my eye in America. You can do this. <laughs> Just look left. <laughs> do it. Left, you can do it fine. You know what's that? The head tilt? Is, it, is my head tilted right now? Yeah. Yeah, it feels straight. It's straight. Blame it on the lady. And I went and saw Avatar in 3D at the IMAX. I didn't see any 3D action. Everybody else was like, I'm like, what the hell is that? <laughs> a spear? Really? I could have a spear to grab my feet? You know? It's a they got, they got scholarships for people with left hands. Why not lazy eyes? <laughs> not fair. The fat kid with a lazy eye, a mullet, rainbow jeans that can't button. <laughs> But I'll pump shoes, I guess that's the only cool thing to do. And glasses that tilt to the side so they hit the face so they're kind of ball manual. <laughs> yeah. Basketball, football, tetherball had been the worst. Huh? They tie you up to a pole in the wintertime with your pants down. Here's the thing, fat kids sweat while they're, you know, the skinny kids now, you know? So they stick. And so they just start playing. When they leave, I'm still kind of cold and the teacher's like, hey, I'm an apologist. First she comes out, little glass walks through the window. She's like, okay, I'm three. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> Don't worry, you're dirty all the time. Don't you go, okay. This is height from Morningside Elementary to the floor. Do that, right? 
Your mother's watching and it's inappropriate. It's awkward. You know, you're going, the bus hanging out here. Shoot a <laughs> Then you get to the point where you actually touch faces. You know, I mean, reserve faces. Kid. My dad would walk around in his holy underwear, you know. 
Right? So that's what he does for a legend. These things are like 10 years old. I'm trying to watch Transformers and there's my future dangling from my face. It's not a bright future. I'm trying to say this, I think I'm a dog. My wife says we're all good. Yeah, they accept it, right? At least they got that. Mormons were really big into scouting. Probably just trying to know that big scouting. We scout uh, other people to convert them to more religious. Just got my baptism very much. Milestone. I got the Catholic one. That was, that was a good one. But when I get that Jehovah's Witness, remember that? Right. It'd be a good day. <laughs> I did not uh, get my eagle. Uh, I think I stuck at Weebelow. Uh, yeah, like right before the Holy Ghost, because when I was stupid. Yeah, you wanna, or is it? I don't know. Yeah, they kicked me out or something. I mean, we went on this stupid winter camp out. Who the hell goes camping in the winter time? We cross country skied into our thing so I couldn't leave. And I had a sleeping bag that was a California Raisins one that I got from my grandma at Christmas. <laughs> California Raisins. If you're old enough to remember, it's not cool. <laughs> and they kept me warm with the slab all around me. <laughs> the other four boys scouts and I had to. I don't know if it's gay. Now it's just gone off, Now, like I said, I am married, and um, wait, there are things about marriage that you do learn when you get married. Do we have, how many, do we have married people in here?
you know, for you or the Whopper, you know? Yeah. And the Angry Whopper, you guys hear the Angry Whopper? The jalapeno, the sweet sauce that makes magical? You know, yeah. yeah, see, their motto was have it your way. Okay? And I like my Whopper a little bit more angry than they make it, so I'd give them examples because they're kind of just kind of like bright little Walmart people. <laughs> yeah. So you yeah. go, all right, uh, yeah, can I get the Angry Whopper? But uh, can I get as angry as the dog going to the vet thinking he's getting a haircut or he's going in there to get neutered? <laughs> now, um, the presidential election was going on. Can you make it as angry as the black dude fighting out the Barack Obama the black or white by Arabic? <laughs> I'm just saying that is a piss off offer. <laughs> no? Right, then they had those Transformers 2 promotion going on at one point. You know, so I was like, yeah, uh, can I get the uh, angry Whopper, but can I get as angry as Shia LaBeouf finding out the Mega Fox GM was Optimus Prime? <laughs> that guy transforms and probably vibrates. You can't come back from that. <laughs> I'm just saying. And these last two are possibly the angriest Whoppers I have ever had. Who finished? It'll probably make you guys angry. That is how angry these Whoppers are. Said, uh, can you make it as angry as Farrah Fawcett to find out that Michael Jackson had the exact same day she did? Oh. <laughs> yeah, no. She didn't think about it. She's sitting in line at St. Peter. Here comes Michael. <laughs> right up the line. She's like, what the hell, Michael? This is my first chance to get on front of People Magazine in like 20 years. Now I get a little corner. There's you on the front. <laughs> right up there. You jerk. You didn't like that one, you're gonna hate this one. <laughs> so can you make it as angry as the mortician had to do Michael Jackson's makeup? <laughs> that guy's pissed and he's huge. That's a powerful thing, you don't want to screw them and some of this stuff up. Along with some girl Drew's name, Psycho White Dance! He's so much a Michael Jackson fan, though. <laughs> Michael Jackson is freaking nuts, dude. I'm not kidding. My mom is one of them. I told her that joke. She's like, you don't say that about Michael. Just like that again, the deep voice. You don't say that about Michael. He has issues. Really, mom? Really? No kidding. Chokes. There's no chokes. 
is you can you can tell you have a choke by the sound they make when you're doing the choke. You know, when, when you almost get it, they make like that. <laughs> when you get it locked in, they do a little squeak on you. It's like. <laughs> See, the reason why I know this is because before I passed out, that's the sound I <laughs> See what I'm saying? Now, who knows what a key eye is? A key eye. If you're shaking your note, you do. You just don't know it. That you do. Hey ya! You know that? You've heard that before? Hey ya! That's called a key eye. It's a burst of energy. Certain times when you don't use a key eye. It's while having sex. Hey, ya! Somebody's like, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Right, Bobby? There's also something else here. You don't just throw in random accents either. This is the time. Hey, this is the time. Hey, this is the time. This is almost as much fun as Space Shuttle and Blow Up Ball. This is the time. It's strong. Hey, you want to go up to the Grand Lion? I'll be here my good time. Good time. Yeah! Come on. Oh, yeah. Here's the rope. Have you? So I'm just throwing right in the mat. I don't get, I mean, when I tell people that, like, if I go somewhere in another state or something, I tell them from my head, like, where's your accent? What I said, yeah, like, right. how about this? Right. Yeah, because we're talking from the South, you dumbass. <laughs> Are you a potato bird? Hell yeah. Here's a potato. <laughs> Universal sign of screw you. And I'm a Mormon that gave it to bird. Do you know it? Woo! Bobby Edmund has sugar for the rebel. I'm willing to do it. Well, we'll be gone. So, I was thinking about something, this is just a random thought that I had, is uh, rappers kind of get a bad rap with some of their lyrics. You know what I'm saying? They do the lyrics, you know, because if a soul guy sings it or a country guy sings it, the same lyrics, they're dreaming. But if a rapper, he's kind of a jerk, right? Like, girl, I want to get up on you. I want to get up on you all night long. I want to see that nice theme song. Yeah. <laughs> Jerk, right? But have you seen that in a soulful way? He's dreaming. I wanna get a on you. I wanna get a on you. All that loud, shiny. I wanna be the dancing song, too. He's dreaming. <laughs> Put it in a comfy way. I wanna get up on you. I wanna get up on you all night long, darling. I wanna see that last thing song. I love that thing. I love you, Brad. I love you, Brad. And you don't look at your mom. She is not herself.
They're blue. What does that supposed to mean? <laughs> you know, if I had those, I would, you know, I would talk to me. You know, that would be a perfect example of the marriage, just dragging across the road. <laughs> Some of you have ladies run around with, like little vagina thing off the Prius. <laughs> I keep getting backhanded by a stupid dog. <laughs> they would be legalized. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going a little crazy tonight. <laughs> you guys just bring it out of me, you know? <laughs> What was I talking about? Oh yeah, I'm a sensitive guy. I worked at Home Post Home. I'll do a minute to call me old ladies. My first client, his name was Jack. He's an old Scottish guy in a wheelchair. You know? I was like, hey Jack, what do you want to do today? I want to get some business! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we can make that happen. <laughs> so in our big craft time, we picked out his wheelchair. You know, we got him some spinners, you know, on his wheels, you know, and, and then hydraulics, we got him all the air room 208, and a boom box about to speak to him, so we went in to price his right time, we ran him with style. <laughs> he goes in there, look. Sandwich, what you buy? Sandwich, what you buy? 
Okay, like I said, I'm just gonna say, I've got a couple more and then I'm gonna be down. Um, like I said, I'm sensitive to issues, I'm sensitive to my wife's needs, sexually. <laughs> so I took a yoga class, you know, to things in the bedroom. <laughs> a little bit more flexible, because this is all it is right there. That's after the yoga class. <laughs> because, I'll go in there, and it's a beginner's course. So I'm thinking, you know, there's chicks full of legs over there, and I'm like, oh, oh, oh. the only guy in there, you know, and my instructor has a lazy eye also, <laughs> but she can't control her <laughs> at all. She's like, Thank you. 